Rated M for Mature. My name is John Garcia Shelton, and I'm the producer. And I'll be your tour guide through this uh, gameplay portion. We're starting off in the cathedral. Um, this is late in episode five. We're storming LeFay's base to figure out why he wanted the creatures released from the box. Uh, as you can see, this is a heavily guarded area. Uh, our, our council buddies are fighting Black Order soldiers, as well as creatures, werewolves, uh, and really creates a tough challenge for the player. Um, the enemy AI is using intelligent cover, um, making it a hard charge to get across. Nothing like the well-placed Molotov to add distraction and cause trouble for the enemy. It was really important when we had the idea of bringing these creatures to life that they could path across all surfaces. You saw there that wolf grabbed that railing and hopped up. These creatures also have the ability to walk on walls, on ceilings, and they're going to take all these different paths to get to Deckard as well as the, the NPCs in the game. Gives a, cre a melee creature an equal fight against uh, a, sold a player with a weapon who doesn't need a move to attack. Here we have an example of the combat triangle. Um, in the distance, there are Black Order soldiers, and they're in pretty good position where council buddies are trying to take them out. But where we get an advantage is when that wolf, thankfully, targets those Black Order soldiers instead of us. It gives us a chance to move forward and uh, take advantage of them all focused on, on each other to take them out uh, much easier and not have to deal with this fight being directly on us. Seeing a scene where a human gets ripped to shreds is very satisfying. 